Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic that is a dynamic branch prediction. So in the previous video, I explained about the static branch prediction technique. Now let's see the dynamic branch prediction technique. Okay, so one thing you have to remember that this dynamic prediction technique is works better than static. Obviously, always the dynamic is better than the static one. And here the prediction, whatever the by underlining hardware is not fixed. Okay, the prediction by underlining hardware, whatever the hardware we are taken is not fixed. Whereas in the static it is fixed, but here in the dynamic it is not fixed. Okay, rather it changes the dynamically also. Rather it changes dynamically. So this technique has high accuracy than static. That is why this technique has high accuracy, accuracy than static technique. So this is what you have to be remember regarding the dynamic prediction. So I didn't enter into the concept. I'm just telling that this prediction hardware is not a fixture and it changes dynamically. And this technique has high accuracy than the static technique. So why it is uh, uh, accuracy is high and why how it is going to be changed dynamically that I'll explain now students. So the first thing that you have to be remember here is uh, there are different dynamic branch prediction techniques are there. A dynamic branch prediction techniques are there. A different dynamic branch prediction techniques are there. So that is one bit branch prediction technique. One bit branch prediction technique. Two bit branch prediction technique. And correlating correlating branch prediction technique okay so before going to understand what exactly the one bit branch prediction technique is let me tell you what exactly this dynamic branch prediction is what is this dynamic branch prediction so i uh, what we had seen in the static in the static we had taken branch taken or not taken that's it so start with the taken and proceed completely if it is occurs wrong the next time flush the all the program and again go back and next time take not taken that is whereas in the dynamic dynamic also assumes that branch has not taken suppose let's take branch has not taken branch has not taken okay and continue the next step as it is whenever at some point suppose again it occurs something like a branch has to be taken okay some error is occurred so then what i have to do i have to again this time i have to predict it okay last time i get an error so i try to take this time as a predicted so let's take the branch has to be taken and proceed with the next time also it is trying to proceed with only the assumption as a branch is taken and continuing with it okay so don't get worried students here static means branch taken or not taken that's it and here is it is started with any assumption either taken or not taken so rest of that also it is think like that okay let's take uh, the previous it is not taken and if it is wrong let's continue with taken okay suppose the taken is true next time also it takes it branch uh, branch has taken and proceed with it okay don't worry about it still if you didn't understand let me explain you the say take by taking the example first i'll explain the one bit branch prediction technique in this video okay the one bit branch prediction technique i am taking the same example whatever i have taken in the previous in the static branch prediction so let me write that program so that you will get a clarity on that int a is equal to zero while a less than 5 enter into the loop that is the branch condition either it is taken or uh, it is not taken okay so it is taken or uh, either true or false if a modulo 2 is equal to 0 then 
execute that instructions and try to increment a exit the loop okay this is what the code i have taken in the previous example in the static now let's see uh, let me explain you the program suppose if hardware assumes that branch to be taken okay so branch to be taken but actually branch not taken uh, let me uh, write the diagram first of all uh, let's take predict taken and here predict not taken predict not taken so let's take one as a uh, branch was taken and zero as branch was not taken so whenever the branch taken the hardware is continuously running considering it as a taken and continuing suppose whenever the branch is take prediction is taken but the program is seems to be not taken means it it is showing that you don't have to take that branch so then the controller dynamically shifts to prediction not taken okay it is next time also it is continuity prediction is not taken but at some time whenever the prediction is not taken but the program is showing that you have to take the branch so whenever it's saying take the branch again it will be branch will be taken so if hardware assumes branch to be taken but actually branch not taken actually branch not taken branch not taken means then in next step hardware assumes branch to be not taken and vice versa so the controller is dynamically jumping this is what you are explaining now let's execute uh, compare with this program to know about what is this one bit first of all the one bit branch prediction means here considering the table of one bit entry only one bit entry that is either 0 or 1 so 0 is not taken 1 means taken that you have to remember that so now let me write the steps for that so first step let assume that branch to be taken let's assume that branch to be taken so at a is equal to 0 at a is equal to 0 so what happening let's have a look here okay so at a is equal to 0 branch is taken at a is equal to 0 enter into this and the branch is taken okay so at a is equal to 1 hardware is going to assume hardware assumes branch to be taken branch to be taken because the condition is true so it is branch is taken so branch is taken but but so hardware is assuming so whenever a is equal to 0 branch taken okay but whenever a is 1 a becomes 1 1 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 but hardware issues branch has to be taken branch has assuming prediction right a a 1 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 but i i i even though it is taken the branch but what is the condition but but branch not taken branch not taken okay so branch not taken because 1 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 so it branch has not to be taken so what the hardware error occurred so error occurred means what it is doing okay okay at a is equal to 2 now at a is equal to 2 hardware is going to assume this time branch not taken because previously whenever 1 modulo 2 is equal to 0 branch taken error occurred so next time the hardware is thinking that okay i don't want to take the branch because previously whenever i taken the branch it shows the error so this time i don't want to take the branch hardware is assuming not i am and you hardware is assumed branch not taken because a at a is equal to 2 because in the previously it got an error so this time it is taking 2 modulo 2 is equal to 0 condition is true only but hardware is assuming branch not taken not taken but what is the condition branch has to be take right error the but branch has to be take 
because 2 modulo 2 is equal to 0 only. It has to enter into the branch. But according to the hardware, branch is not taken. But I have to take the branch. So then at A is equal to 3. This time at A is equal to 3. So last time whatever error is occurred. So this time hardware is assuming that. Assuming that. Let's take the branch. Because last time branch has to be taken. So let's take the branch has taken. But 2 modulo, uh, 3 modulo 2 is not equal to 0. But branch has taken. So what I have to do? But branch has taken. Sorry, branch has not to be taken. Not to be taken. Because 3 modulo 2 is not equal to 0. So I don't want to take the branch. But here the branch has taken. So then what it is doing? Again, it's checking it at four, A is equal to 4. So, at A is equal to 4, hardware assumes. So, previously, whenever I had taken the branch, it is showing that branch has not to be taken. So, let, let this time branch assume hardware branch not be taken. But, what is the condition? 4 modulo 2 is equal to 0. Condition is true. Branch has to take. So, this is how it is going to be checked. It is a hardware implementation. Okay. So, at A is equal to 0, branch is taken. Let us take branch prediction branch is taken. Okay. At A is equal to 1, hardware assumes branch to be taken. Hardware is assumes A is equal to 1, hardware assumes branch to be taken. But exactly what happening not to take. Branch not to take. So it enter into here. Okay. Previously whatever the condition I have taken. Not to take. Okay. So at A is equal to 2. Uh, hardware assumes this time branch prediction not to take. But what happened? A, A modulo 2. That is 2 modulo 2 is equal to 0. So the prediction whatever not to take has to be take. Okay, it again good. It has to be taken. So, next time what it is doing? Okay, previously the prediction not taken is there. So, I have to take the prediction and it will start working out. So, branch has taken. At A is equal to 3, branch has taken. But what happened? A modulo 3 is, uh, 3 modulo 2 is not equal to 0. So, hardware is assuming branch prediction has to be taken. Branch prediction has to be taken. Okay, but branch has not to take. Again the controller is go. Here it is everything it is doing dynamically. Dynamically it is changing. Now it see here. What will be the actual prediction? Let me write over here the actual prediction. Actual prediction is what? So according to the program what is the actual prediction? So the actual prediction is. Let me write. A is equal to 0, A is equal to 1, A is equal to 2, A is equal to 3 and A is equal to 4. Okay. What will be the actual prediction? So, when A is equal to 0, branch has to be taken. A is equal to 1, branch not to be taken. A is equal to 2, it has to be taken. A is equal to 3, not taken. A is equal to 4, taken. Because whenever the even numbers are there, then only branch has to be taken. Then what will be the hardware output? Let's tell the what will the hardware prediction? What will be the hardware prediction here? Let, let me write here. A is equal to 0. A is equal to 1. A is equal to 2. A is equal to 3. A is equal to 4. So, what, is, what will be the hardware prediction? A is equal to 0. So, branch has taken. Okay. Branch taken. A is equal to 1. Hardware assumes branch has to be taken because previously when A is equal to 0, branch is taken is true. So, let me assume branch is taken is also a true. At A is equal to 1 is also a branch has to be taken. But the condition is false. Whenever the condition is false, the next time the branch is not taken. But A is equal to 2 means branch has to be taken. So, what is the controller is saying that, okay, for the next condition, I have to take the branch. Okay, take the branch. But when A is equal to 3, branch has not to be taken because 3 modulo 2 is not equal to 0. Okay, next time what I have to do? So, let's take the, uh, not to take the branch. 
so see here only this condition is true all the remaining are false so whenever actual prediction not here taken taken not taken not taken 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 not taken so these are all the false predictions so dynamic prediction is like this so this is what the one bit uh, dynamic prediction so in the next video i'll explain about the two bit branch prediction technique thank you